FTV Mo. Wow, another fantastic um, turnout, another brilliant atmosphere from um, these fans over here in America. Yeah, man. Um, today was simply awesome. All the stuff they did around the game, yeah. and um, you know, and Eddie again, oh, Eddie man. and Ketia. Eddie, 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 Eddie's the man. He really Eddie, is. In fact, Eddie, he's not the man. He's the boy. He's the kid. He's the hot shot. And. Do you know what? I've, I've been singing his praises for a long time. I've said, you know, you, you, you won't find a single statement from me saying that I don't think Eddie Nketiah will make it. I've always felt that he's the real deal. I see a real promise. Is he ready him. now? Yes. Yes. Well, look, he's, he's obviously a raw talent, yeah? And he's, we can say he might be ready to fill his place in the squad now because there's not a lot of expectation on him. Really, what we need to know is that when there's expectation on him, can he still deliver? Because you see a lot of prospects come in and hit the ground running and do well. Like, you know, we look at Awobi, for example. When he first came in the squad, he was brilliant. And then I think they go through a bit of a lull. So we'll find out if he's ready or not. It's too early to say that. But, you know, even last season, I remember talking to you about this. I was saying, for me, I want uh, Enketia over Welbeck. I used to be frustrated when Welbeck was getting the time and not Enketia. And now, do you know what? I don't want to sign another striker. I want Enketia to get the chance. And I felt last season when Enketia was getting opportunities in the first team he was almost trying too hard yeah, and it just yeah. wasn't working for him yeah. and I'm so so chuffed for him I'm so happy for him that is working for him man of the match back-to-back -back awards you know in this preseason tour I think he's such a talented youngster and you know I've said I said like a couple of years ago to you in an interview that Arsenal don't produce clinical players from their academy yeah but Nketiah, I know that he was with Chelsea for a long, long time, but he's, up, he's been at Arsenal for a few years now. He's one of the most clinical players mm. to come from the academy yeah. into the first team that I can remember. Yeah. Yeah. I'll challenge anyone here to come up with a more clinical player than Nketiah. He's absolutely brilliant. And what I love about him as well, his energy, his work rate, his pace. He, you know, he, he absolutely mugged off a defender in the last game, putting his shoulder into him. He's got that uh, physicality. I love watching him play. The guy's electric. And the danger is, is if you send him out on loan, and we see a lot of players go out on loan, do well out on loan yeah. sometimes, and they, but just never get back in the team. Yeah, so, no. you know, you see like a Christian Bielik who's been out on loan, done really, really well, but not, you know, he's not going to figure. Chambers went out on loan last season, was a um, player of the season for yeah, Fulham. Yeah. Looks like they'll probably ship yeah. him out. It's, it's a danger when you go out on loan, isn't it? Because it is, yeah. you, you can do well, but it's not, not necessarily that you're going to come back. But Robbie, I think we need to separate some talents from others. Look, you know, we, all want, we obviously want all of them to succeed, but I think there's some special talents in our youngsters. Emil Smith-Rowe is one of them. Eddie and Ketty is another. When they go out on loan, I don't see that danger. I think that they have to form part of our first team squad. They've got so much talent. And do you know what? Even before we came out here, one thing that I was really looking forward to wasn't seeing Aubameyang and Lacazette. I know a lot of the fans here want to see them score a goal and that's kind of what they're clamouring for. For me, this tour is about the youngsters. And what I absolutely love is seeing how brilliantly all of these youngsters are seizing the opportunity. For me, Robbie Burton and James Olienka today were outstanding. They were so composed, so good in the middle of the park. Saka in the first game, Dom Thompson in the first game as well, Zek Medley in the first game. They were all brilliant when they got their like starting berth. You know, I'm just, I just can't believe how well they're all doing. Someone's just mentioned Joe Willock. The thing is, there's a few players like Nketiah, Willock, Rhys Nelson. We already know about them. I'm mentioning the players that a lot of fans here don't even know who they are. They're looking at their kind of like names on the back of the shirt to figure out who they are. Those are the guys that are smashing this opportunity. Oli Enka, I think he only signed a professional deal kind of within the last 12 months and he's out here doing brilliantly in the middle of the park. I know it's only, I know it's only Fiorentina. I know it's only, you know, uh, a pre-season friendly, but they're doing a very, very good job yeah. when they're getting the chance. And there's another person that's been doing well so far, I think, on the pre-season. Um, and uh, we will be hoping and praying that he can when the season starts. And that's Ozil. Um, I mean, he only, I know he only came on for a short time today, but again, some nice little touches. He looked good. He looked yeah. good in the last game, the first game. How important is it that we get this guy back on song, on form, for the yeah. season ahead? It's amazing. Like, you know, we watch Mesut Ozil play week in, week out, right? And we watch him through our own kind of lens. But when I come out here, I, I watch him through a different lens. I watch him through the eyes of what an American fan that doesn't get to see Arsenal players play week in, week out. And when you watch him from that perspective, you then kind of press a reset button and you realise how silky he is, how smooth he is. And I, there's interviews of me saying in the past that he's a Rolls Royce of a player. 
and he, he really, really is. The problem is we just need the system that works for him. We need him motivated. Mm. Maybe he needs an arm, arm around the shoulder. Yeah, we seem to be playing him out here in that number 10 position, which yeah. is a position he likes, is a position it suits him, but yeah. not always possible to sort of come off with that yeah. in the Premier League where, you know, but, teams set up in so many different formations. But, Robbie, you know, the thing is, right, I don't think uh, Emery is Ozil's biggest fan. I think that players would probably rather have in the team. And I don't think Ozil is maybe as hungry as he once was. If we can get Emery and Ozil having a bit of love, if we can get Ozil playing with that desire and passion, there's no one like him. He is the best playmaker of his generation. Yeah, We're not seeing that week in, week out now. But even when we look at when he first came to the club, he shifted the club into, that tro into winning trophies again. He was brilliant. He was, And you look, just look at the stats. It's isn't about agendas or bias. Just look at the stats, the chance creation, the assists. He's tailed off. I'm, I'm willing to admit that. But I still love the guy and I still know what he's got in his locker. And I'd love him to show us that again. You know, get a bit of hunger and desire. Prove a point, Mesut Ozil, you know? And, you know, finally, Real Madrid's the next game. There ain't going to be no Fiorentina. Probably, I bet you any money, any money Hazard's going to play. Right? So, um, it'd, be a, it'd be a much bigger test. Would you throw in a load of the kids in that? game as well? Yeah, man, look, pre-season friendly, we just beat yeah. Bayern Munich. None of us are thinking, oh, all of a sudden we're better than Bayern Munich. So if Real Madrid beat us, it doesn't matter. Do you know, for me, that's what I love about coming to these tours. I'm not stressed out. I'm not shouting at the referee, you know. It doesn't matter too much. We obviously want to see them do well. But what's more important for me is Emery can figure out with a limited transfer budget, which players are ready for first team, you know. Which players can we actually say? I mean, you look at Bukayo Saka. Look how good he looks. I want him on the fringes. I really do want him on the fringes of the first team next year. I think he's such a good little player. And that's what I want to see. Joe Willock looks so composed as well. I know he's had a few moments already in the first team. And Ketia, look, surely, surely Emery can trust him more. You know, you look at where Emery, how he would have viewed him at the start of this tour compared to the end of this tour. Surely he's thinking, actually, do you know what? I can chuck you on in, a, in an important game. So I'm not interested in seeing Lacazette score a hat-trick. We know how good he is. He showed that again today with two assists. We know how good Aubameyang is. But I want to see the youngsters really stake a claim. And, you know, I'm speaking as a 34-year-old fan now that's been watching Arsenal for God knows how many decades. But... I'm so proud of these youngsters that are coming up and taking their chance. You know, Smith Rowe did it last year. There's others doing it this year. Now we want to see them in the first team. I want to see... It. There's nothing better than seeing a youngster go through those ranks and be the hero for your club. You know, you can sign someone for £100 million and not interested. That is the, the actual... Like, that's the beauty of, you know, football. That's poetry. And that's what I want to see. I want to see these players representing their clubs. Last thing before I go, shout out Dom Thompson. And Shakir, you're getting this in your room very soon. <laughs>